I'm back. Sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while. Not that anyone cares. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Bengali traditions. The things that I struggle with and the pointless traditions. So it's basically what I've experienced. Some of you guys might haven't. Alright, first of all, I struggle to speak the language. It's so hard to speak to my elders that I actually try to stay away from them. An elder might approach me and I'll move the other way and go the other direction. It's so hard to understand them. Sometimes it sounds like they're actually rapping because they're speaking so quick. The only words I used to reply to them is G, which means can you repeat that or what did you say? Something like that. And OI, which means yes. And then G OI, which also means yes. And then Gina, which means no. See, it's already confusing. An elder might be asking me a simple question and I'll just reply like this. Bala Sony, Kolotore, Babdo Babe, Bamal, Bala Bala. Oh, G OI. Nailed it. I think the only numbers I can count up to are 12 or 13. Ech doi toar. Shit. Now let's talk about the big one. Weddings. Islamically, it's best if the wedding's small. But nowadays, the weddings are massive. Where did all these people come from? Seriously, there's, there's 200 plus people and you only know 10% of them. One time, there were so many people, the venue was so crowded that me, my brother and my cousin had to sit on the floor to eat. In the girl's side. True story. And the main reason why people come is so that they have a free three course meal. Once they're finishing, they're gone. And then I get random strangers claiming that they've known me when I was a child. They ask, oh do you remember me? And then I'm like, no! I've never seen you in my life! Stop talking to stranger! And then the amount of money that I spent on weddings man. Bruh. There's a video I saw of a guy who spent 50k on the wedding itself. 10k on the nikah, which is the money that the which is the gift that the groom has to give to the bride, and then after that 7k on the holiday, and then and then like a year after or maybe half a year, they divorced, so so basically 60 plus k was wasted, and then you get people complaining about the food after they ate it and it was free, they ate the food, they finished it, they're full, it was free. And then they complain about it. And do you know why I know this? I do it myself. But the only reason why I complain is that it's cold. Why is it cold? And at the end of the wedding, there's leftover drinks. Some people actually take it for themselves. Bengalis would make the most out of anything. Do you know why I know this? Because I do it myself. <sighs> yeah, I take... I took the bottle for myself. I just refill it with water and use it. And the weddings are getting way more haram. There's music, there's dancing, and so on. And a problem I find is that the girl, some girls would do like a dance routine, and then they would tell the men to leave. Obviously, that's understandable. But then the girls snap it on the phones, so everyone sees it anyway. What's the point? And now outside of the wedding things, um, this is something that parents do, not all of them obviously, oh, some, some do this. Parents use their children's academic success to boast in front of other families. I don't know why they do this, but they basically use them as trophies. Like, obviously not all of them do this, but they want their children to get a degree in university, blah blah blah, so they can show it off and then tell other families, oh my, fa my son is better than yours. So yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope I don't offend any Bengalis. I'm Bengali myself, so piss off. Please like and subscribe. Share this video to others. Bye-bye. Um,